Hi, this is Sohini from Double Lab, and in this series, we'll learn how to fetch all the Alexa skill templates that we have built and pushed in our GitHub repos. So, when we navigate to this link here, we see a list of GitHub repositories under the topic Alexa skill template, and most of them are built by us. So, here it is. We are to fetch all these repositories in our console using REST API at first and then doing the same using GQL, that is GraphQL, and Apollo Server Micro. And then we'll be using Next.js routing feature in our final project. This is how our path and goal would look like. So in this video, we just learned to create a Next app and host it in Versal. Before that, let's see what is Next.js. Next.js is an open source development framework built on top of Node.js, enabling React-based web applications functionalities such as server-side rendering and generating static websites. And Versal is a cloud platform for static sites, hybrid apps, and serverless functions. Let's get started by creating a repository in GitHub. It's important that our next app is pushed over GitHub for it to be deployed in Versal. Versal allows for automatic deployments on every branch, push, and merges onto the production branch of your GitHub. GitLab and Bitbucket projects. Now let's clone this repository in our local machine. And open it in VS Code here. We create our next app with this command. Perfect. We see the app is now created. Let's get inside it and run it using this command. We see it's running perfectly. Now, it's time we learn to deploy it to Versal. Before that, We'll need to push this to our GitHub repo, else Versal won't be able to deploy the code. Let's push it. Fine, it's pushed. We'll head over to versal.com and import our GitHub repository. Here we see ours. We'll just click on import. Since I'm using my organizational repository, it requires a team name. 
but this wouldn't be your case if you are using your personal GitHub. We need to specify the right project route, else Versal won't identify the main page. These are the extras, which you can edit if there's something specific. That's all, let's finish. Now it's deployed. So in this video, we learned our goal, build a Next.js app and deploy it to Versal. In our next few videos, we will slowly accomplish our goal. I'll be a bit away next week, so we'll not be having a tutorial, but till the time I come back and continue this, keep coding and keep dabbling. If you really like this tutorial, do give it a like, share and subscribe. <music>